Hello again, this is Michael from TOEFLresources.com and today I want to talk about the speaking section of the TOEFL. Specifically, I want to talk about question type 3, which is commonly referred to as the campus situation question. As you can see, this is the 2017 edition of the video. Now, the TOEFL hasn't really changed since last year, but I myself have learned a lot more about how to put together good answers and which strategies work best for students. So for that reason, I thought it would be a good time to make a new version of the video. So let's get started. Today, as a sample question, I'm using something taken from the TOEFL Quick Prep Collection. Specifically, this is from volume three of that collection. It's the question about music in the cafeteria. Now, I'm not allowed to give you the question here in the video, but the good news is if you Google TOEFL Quick Prep Collection, it will be the first result. You can download a PDF file that has a complete transcript as well as mp3 files of all the audio stuff. Now I've chosen this particular question because it's accurate and it's realistic. That is to say it's very similar to what you will get on the real test. A lot of popular textbooks these days are not very accurate. In fact they are quite terrible. That means you should be studying with questions that come either from the quick prep collection, the official guide to the test, or the official test collection. I mention this because if you understand how the speaking questions are designed each week, you'll have a better chance of answering them strongly and correctly. You need to know that ETS has a very strict formula that they use when designing the speaking questions. The structure of those questions never really changes. They make a new test every week but the structure of those questions is the same. If you study with textbooks that don't represent this structure, you're wasting your time. Okay, so before I show you how to answer it, I want to talk a little bit about some of those things that never change. So in the type 3 question, first you get a reading. This reading is about 100 words long. The reading takes the form of an announcement on campus, a letter to the editor of a campus newspaper, or an article in a campus newspaper. You're going to get one of these three. I haven't seen anything else in a long time. So that's what you get first of all. Then that disappears from the screen and you listen to a conversation. The conversation is between a man and a woman. One of the speakers in the conversation will either support or oppose what was mentioned in the reading. He or she will provide two clear reasons for their support or opposition, as well as supporting details that go along with it. Your job is going to be to summarize the opinion of that person. So, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but this is the pattern that's used every single week. Keep this in mind, please. 
So now that we know a little bit about how the question is designed, let's talk about taking notes. Taking good notes about both the reading and the conversation is very, very important. Now, before I talk about these notes, I do want to say that your notes will probably not be this good. I understand that you have limited time. It's difficult. But I'm using this to show you an ideal. These are perfect notes. Try your best to make your notes similar to this. You're not going to be as good as me. I'm a native speaker and I cheated. However, try your best. First of all, I took notes about the reading. And I took three main notes. First of all, I noted the topic. And I noted simply that the topic is the cafeteria. Sometimes the topic might be the library. In that case, just write library. If the reading is about the science department, just write science department. If it's about the campus parking lot, write campus parking lot. That's it. That's what I want you to get for your first note. Next, I took a note from something that came at the beginning of the article, really the, the main point of the reading, the main thing that's being announced. And that is that classical music will be played during meals next semester. How nice. And then I took a last note about the reading, something from the middle or the end of the article. Students will relax and communicate more if they're not listening to mp3 players. That kind of represents the, uh, the justification. All right, then the reading disappears. I listen to the conversation. I take some notes. First, I took a note of the opinion of the person who has an opinion. Simply note whether they're for or against the plan whether they support or oppose. That's what I want you to get first of all, that's critically important. Then I took two more main things. I noted the man's first reason for being against the plan. And that is students don't want to relax. And then I got the details that go along with it. Usually you're going to get two details to match each reason. Again, this is a formula. Just about every single week, you're going to be able to get two details. My first detail, they want to study and work while eating. Second detail, they can't concentrate while music is playing. Okay. Next, I got a note about the second reason. The second reason in this case is students don't like classical music. And then I got the two details that go along with it. First detail, they will not stop listening to their own music. Next detail, they're more likely to bring MP3 players if classical music is played. So again, it's a formula, week after week after week. First of all, make a note of the person's opinion. Second of all, the reason and the two details. Finally, the next reason and the two details. You might miss one of the details. Don't worry. It's not the end of the world. But basically understand the pattern, reason plus details, reason plus details. Moving along. After the reading, after the conversation, we actually have to deliver our answer. And this represents the most important point of this video, how to structure the answer. 
If you've seen any of my videos, you know I love structure. You also know I love templates. So today I'm going to teach you a template you can use to structure your answer to the type 3 speaking question every week, every time. Here it is. First of all, you should say something like, the article is about, the announcement is about, the letter is about. It states that. And here is where you put in your notes about the announcement. The man agrees with the proposal. The man disagrees with the proposal. The man agrees with the plan. The man disagrees with the plan. Something like that. He feels this way for two main reasons. Or she feels this way for two main reasons. First of all, he states that. First of all, she states that. That's where you're going to put your notes. Secondly, he notes that. Secondly, she notes that. And that's it. That's your template. That's your structure. And you can see what comes next. Here's where the topic goes. The article is about the cafeteria. I'm actually going to give you the full answer in a moment. Don't worry. It states that. And here's where you put your notes about the reading. The man agrees with the proposal. The man disagrees with the proposal. He feels this way for two main reasons. First of all, he states that. And here's where you put your notes about the first reason. Secondly, he notes that. Here's where you put your notes about the second reason. Again, I really want to stress, this is going to work every time. If you've got a textbook where it doesn't work, you've got a crappy textbook. Get something better. Get a better practice question. All right, here then is a sample answer, which uses our notes. It uses the question from the quick prep collection. It uses our template. You can pause that if you want to read it. I'm actually going to read it myself. And just for fun, I will time it. Now, keep in mind, your answer is supposed to be one minute long. I hope that this one is a little bit less than a minute, because I understand as a native speaker, I speak faster than you. But let's read it, and I will time it. Here goes. The article is about the campus cafeteria. It states that beginning next semester, classical music will be played during meals to encourage students to talk to each other instead of listening to MP3 players. The man disagrees with this plan. He feels this way for two main reasons. First of all, he says that students don't actually want to relax during meals. Many of them prefer to study for exams or work on assignments while they eat, and the music will make it hard to concentrate. Secondly, he notes that most students don't like classical music. For this reason, they will not stop listening to their own music. In fact, the change will make them more likely to bring their own MP3 player to the cafeteria to block out the classical music. So mine came out as 54 seconds. Hopefully you can fit the same type of answer into one full minute. As you practice your answers, time yourself. If you find that you speak a bit too slowly to get all of this in, keep in mind that, yeah, you're going to have to shorten it. It stops recording after 60 seconds, so you're talking to thin air at that point. If you need to delete something, you're probably going to delete some of the details. The second detail from the reading, that can go. So you could just end with, will be played during meals, period. You could leave out the second detail. Likewise, if you need to delete something from the summary of the lecture, 
delete the second detail once, maybe twice. I understand you might speak slower than me. But before we wrap up, I just want to again talk a little bit about the template and how I used it in the sample answer. So you can see I said the article is about the campus cafeteria. I just filled in the blank there. Here in green, I just put in the two details from the reading, from the notes. This blue sentence never changes. Well, you might say he agrees with the plan, obviously. The pink sentence, it never changes, except if you need to say she. First of all, he says that, and then I just stated the first reason. Here in italics, those are the two details. Here in orange, secondly, he notes that that's the second reason. Here in italics, those are the two details. And uh, that's going to work every single time, I promise. All right, that is the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and I thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. It really means a lot to me. If you want to get more of this stuff, just visit tofelresources.com. That's my main website. It includes guides to every section of the test. It includes uh, a lot more information about the speaking section. And most importantly, if you go there, you can sign up for my essay evaluation service. That is a service where I will evaluate and score your practice essays. And most importantly, I will check them line by line, correcting all of your mistakes regarding grammar and vocabulary. I work with uh, dozens of students every week. It's a very, very useful service. I hope you will think about signing up. Um, I guess I will leave it at that. And thank you very much. Talk to you later.